life in Shortland, Nigeria, the killing of our people, the killing of our tribe, the killing of our, of, of our ethnic community has been going on now since independence, since the colonization. And we're not out of it yet. People are dying every day. Why is, why is everyone not talking about it? Why is Boris Johnson not saying anything about it? Why is the Queen not saying anything about it? If it was the election in Nigeria, or 200, 200 girls speak up in Nigeria by Boko Haram, the whole world was talking about it. During the election of Nigeria, Obama was talking about it. The UK was talking about it. The whole world was talking about it. Now our people are being killed, our future are being jeopardized, our kids are being murdered in front of us. And nobody is talking about it. This is sick. This is the world we're living in right now. Nobody gives a shit about Africa. Nobody gives a shit about Nigeria. And they need to know the true African story. Go and check the West and the rest of us. Go and check the journey of the African colony. Then we can find out the problem of what's going on with Nigeria. People call us frostless. People call us criminal. People call us evil because of who we are. But we're here saying, saying our mind. We're not evil just for nothing. We're not corrupt just for nothing. We're not criminal just for nothing. Some people made us that way. We were put up together with something that we didn't want. It wasn't free will to start Nigeria. Nigeria was a sham project. Nigeria is fake. Nigeria was a problem colonized by the colonial masters. They were brought together. There was a lot of people that were killed. There was a lot of people that was murdered. Oh God, look at Frederick Lord Begun. Look at what he did to the Southerners. Look at what he did to the Easterners. And people in Nigeria putting on his statues. Frederick Lord Lugar is not a hero. Frederick Lord Lugar is a criminal. He poured Nigeria into all this mess we're in in the first place. How can you join people without no religious belief? How can you put people together without with, with people that have different ideologies? People that have different religion beliefs? People that have different cultural beliefs? People that have different traditional belief. You put us together, you form us Nigerian, now you're thinking we're not making it. How can we make it? They took all the money. Who runs the IMF? Who runs the World Bank? It's America. Who runs us right now? It's the United Kingdom. And they can keep crying while people are getting murdered. We are your children. We are the bastard children you made from Nigeria. The Nigerian you formed together is not working. Your three wives, the South, the East and the North, they're dying every day. You need to speak up. We need to get people retweeting it. This should be trending topic. This is not about 200 girls. It's more than people, more than thousands of people dying every day. Look at Kaduna. Look at this North. Look at what's going on in the North. Who is talking about it? El Rufai is keeping quiet. Buhari is keeping quiet. I don't blame Buhari. I blame the people that put Buhari there. How did Jonathan get out of it? It's because of Buhari. How did Buhari go there? What was the campaign manager of Barack Obama doing in Lagos during Buhari's campaign? Where did Buhari go when he got elected? The first congratulatory message, which country did Buhari go? Buhari came here. Buhari came to England. Buhari came here to see the Godmasters. Buhari came here to see the God, God the, the Godfathers that gave him the blueprint. This is how you're gonna run Nigeria. We want the world to hear what's going on in Nigeria. We want people to see that we're not just here for, for, for nothing. Say people are dying. We don't want too much. We don't want five million. We don't want three million. We don't want you to pay us for the damage you've done during slavery. We just want the common thing. We want to leave us humans. Is that too much? No. Is that too much, guys? No. It's not too much. That's why we're here. Come on, people need to speak up. Nigeria is a mess. The family you put together in Nigeria is a mess. We came to this country. We fought for this country. Nigerians fought for this country. Go and check it. They didn't put our name on it, they put Africans. Nigeria is not the only Africa on the map. We are Nigerians, we fought for this country. Our warriors were taken, were taken away from their parents by force. Why the British kids stay in their house? Why the British kids stay in their school? Why the British kids stay with their family? Our warriors from Nigeria were taken, were slaughtered during the World War. Why is everyone not talking about it? This is my country as well because my ancestors died, they bled and sweat for this country. So if you think you don't have a visa, this is the time. We need to change that perspective. We don't need a visa to come here. Where's the Commonwealth? The Commonwealth, the wealth is not shared commonly. Everything is sham. We need to speak up. I'm not here trying to laugh. I'm not here trying to, I'm here to say my mind. Nigeria is not right. And we need to stand right now. This is what we're doing. And the whole world should listen to this. Trust me, Nigeria will be great again. Yeah. 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 We need to watch. What you're afraid of, we come to you. Because Nigerian youth, they're walking up. Nigerian youth, they're smarter. 
Nigerian youths are hardworking. You call us fraudsters, you call us criminals, you are the criminals. You put us in that situation in the first place. You put us in that situation in the first place. So we can't keep short anymore. We can't keep quiet anymore. The world needs to know. United Kingdom needs to know. Come on, what the fuck? There's Germany there, there's Ireland, there's Wales. You know, coming together, they agree to be in United Kingdom. We never agreed to be with Nigerian. No. You forced us to be in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we're here. Yeah. We're in a mess because of what you did. Yeah. It was made in a parliament house. Guys, go and watch the journey of an African colony. Yeah, you will man. see, go and watch the West and the rest of us. How the white supremacy have been taking over our land. It's how shell have been mocking us. How they have been stealing our money. It's how they have been ruining us. Okay. How they have been ruining the future. What can I tell my kids? What can I tell them? Because right now my country is in a mess. I don't have no history. I don't have where I come from. Look at this happening in England. I work with a lot of young people in England. They people are angry because they don't know where they come from. You need to let us reconnect with our roots. You need to let us reconnect with our tradition. You need to let us reconnect with our tribe. That's who we are. Don't force us together in an agreement that we're not even part how can I suffer for the sins of my ancestors when I wasn't there to sign the agreement that I want to be Nigerian? Now my name is Niger area. Come on. Niger area. African, we need to wake up. Bless you you're doing something out there. Let everyone know this. African will be great again. Nigerian will be great again. We are the first person in creation. Go and check the history. Three million years ago, the blood that they found in Africa was the blood of Lucy. Lucy was African. We are the head. If the head is not right, the whole world will never be right. Yeah. I can guarantee you, you're fighting COVID, we're fighting for innocent citizens yeah. trying to have a living. Come on, wake up the world. The world needs to wake up. The youth needs to wake up. This is our time. We are the future. We are the internet generation. We are the Indomie generation. We are the Sorosuke generation. Come on, can I, can I hear some Sorosuke?